Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel, my name's Leanne It is so lovely to have you here this is the start of another weekly vlog. Starting off on a little bit of a bad footing, if I'm being honest. Um, little Amelia had to take her to hospital last night because her temperature was, I think it was 38, and they'd given her cowpaw. And when she got to hospital, it was at 39. They sent her home with a prescription for antibiotics that they told her not to start till Tuesday, but they started on her it on her last night. She still has an extremely high temperature. Jay's been up every hour for her through the night. Obviously I was supposed to be going to my sister's today but I've asked if she would mind coming here just because I just want to be around in case JJ needs me basically. But they're sleeping at the moment so I'm not going to disturb them. What I am starting off this day doing is just doing some meal prep. I've just lost my slipper, hang on a sec. <laughs> I've left it under the table. Yeah, I'm just um, popping on a chicken casserole for dinner tonight because something can go in the slow cooker, I don't have to think about it. Sorry, it's a little bit of a bummer way to start a video, but sometimes that is a real life, isn't it? So, anyhow, so I'm going to crack on and I'll just show you what that noise is in case you can hear it. Are you okay there, hon? okay <laughs> oh god gosh yeah so what i'll do is i'm gonna get on with the dinner i'm gonna get myself coffee and i'm gonna sit down and tell you about my weekend i'll tell you soon so grab yourself coffee oh, god. <laughs> grab yourself coffee and i'll see you in the living room in a minute i said about getting a cup of tea but i've just prepped the dinner so i thought i'll just quickly show you i'm just doing a uh, chicken casserole um so there's all my bits and bobs in there so that's, that's going to be cooking away let's turn off this camera pop it back over here so i can actually get a cuppa Ooh. let me just put the kettle on now i have all the dishes and that my darling is that So let me fill you in in what we've been up to this weekend. So obviously Friday was our little Indy's birthday so they popped over after school so she could open her presents. She was made up with it all. Lauren and Reese popped in on Saturday, had my food shopping delivered and then yesterday we went to church. Straight from church we went to a lovely couple from church's house for food. Oh my goodness. It was amazing like honestly blew my mind it was so so tasty really really enjoyed that and we just got chatting they're, they're a little bit of me let's just say that <laughs> so yeah we had a, a lovely lovely day ended up staying there until we needed to leave to go to our show the fairy tale of new york what i've decided to do is because it was so christmasy the show i'm going to put together all the little clips youtube is not going to let me play stuff that i actually got so i'll put together all the little snippets and then i'll share it with you during vlogmas because honestly it was absolutely amazing i didn't know what to expect and i wasn't expecting much and it was amazing i highly highly recommend it it was really really good really good feel good yeah just amazing yeah it's just unfortunate that we got a message from jj to say amelia's not very well the temperature is scarily high they had to take her to the hospital last night so yeah my sister's coming around so i'm not even gonna get to see her house but i'm gonna see if there's an evening this week that we can me and me and martin can pop over once but maybe we've dropped the kids off or something but yeah we had a lovely weekend until obviously i, I just hate when the kids get ill i really really i just worry so much honestly I need to, I've just seen a message come through, I need to sort out, um, I'm doing some meals with love because there's unfortunately there's a family going through something at the moment, something awful and we need to support them so I just need to sort out a few things. I'll catch up with you later. Hey you guys, my sister's come around, it's been so lovely to see her, had a nice little catch up. Um, Mimi's not well bless her, they've just taken her back up the hospital. I'm sat here trying to edit my weekly vlog because i've started a new, <laughs> new vlog and my head's like 
I, I, I tend to like to get that one complete before I start the next one. everyone i hope everyone is okay it is tuesday morning um i didn't update you yesterday because yeah the day just got away with me to be honest with you um what they believe at the moment they're concerned that amelia might have had an allergic reaction to the antibiotics um because each time she took a dose which she only had four doses in total her symptoms the rash and everything was getting worse now she's allergic to penicillin and the same thing happened so not good really but at least they know now and hopefully they've given her some different antibiotics i don't know what ones they are they just want today ones the other ones were like four times a day um so hopefully she's really struggling bless her she's what you know jj's had a really bad night with her again i double checked with Britt that she was still happy for zeke to come and spend the day um but kids they, they get germs they get sick it's just constant it's just you know it's one of them things so if you if you had to take a day off every time someone who was looking after your kids the other ki one of the other kids was sick you know you'd never be at work would you so yeah i'll just try and be as sensible as i can you know sanitize <clears throat> things and i don't know I don't know. So JJ actually has a driving lesson today. It was too late for her to cancel. She would have had to have paid for it anyway. But I think Amelia, she'll be all right. It's only for an hour. She'll be all right with me and Nate. Nate, me and Zeke for for the hour. So I yeah, don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing today. It seems like a bright, sunny, but cold day. I've got my new jumper on, which I actually really love. It's like really like soft it's beautiful really really beautiful you know when you want like that one jumper like you're gonna see me in this like a million times now <laughs> it's really really lovely i got it from next it was 32 pounds i saw it when i was with lauren and i loved it and strangely enough when i went online and had a look at it i thought oh it's not nothing special but i remembered feeling it and seeing it obviously i went for an extra large because i wanted to wear i wanted it a baggy to wear with leggings and things so because she was like mom you're not an extra large and I was like, no, but for the purpose of what I would wear, be, I won't wear this with um, jeans or nothing. It'll just be for leggings, you know, these kind of days. I, I'm, I'm a slouchy jumper kind of girl. Yeah, it was really funny because I was watching Danita. So I'd seen that she put a shopping haul up. So I was watching that, and then for some reason, and I and I know that a few people have said it on my channel, but I'm not being recommended all the time. Videos that are being put up by my what people are, who I'm subscribed to, which is really annoying. I'm just not getting notifications, and if I am, it's like days later. She'd done a sheen haul and oh my gosh go and check it out i'll link it below every item of clothing well apart from the little crop tops because you know i wouldn't wear that hi bella is 100 percent my my cup of tea like my style her dungarees i'm like i just can't wait to see her try bella bella can you stop it's really annoying you're getting louder as i'm trying to talk bella I need to let her get it out of her system because she's not going to shut up. She's going to carry on and carry on and carry on. Stop. You're in the house. You've had your breakfast. Stop it. Stop. It's too loud. I'm trying to talk. Lay it down. Lay down, please. Lay down. Shush. 
she's so funny she's such a little diva yeah so every item like she had she called them granddad jumpers oh my gosh they're such my cup of tea i was like i've never ordered a single thing from sheen i don't know if that's how you say it i've never i've not ordered one single thing my girls obviously have do you know what it is with me i'll, I'll be honest i find this with a lot of places i can't be bothered to do my measurements work out sizing for it to turn up to be wrong i, I wouldn't be bothered I, I that that whole thing stresses me out stresses me out it was bad enough when i did my order when i got this jumper i needed a new pair of tights it sounds really like oh boring <laughs> you know the thick black tights that you wear that you can't see your skin through they only had one pair that fit me and they i mean to be honest with you they're probably a little bit snug so they, they used to roll down which used to be a little bit annoying but i poked a hole in the toe area which can be sewn up probably and it'll, it'll be absolutely fine but i just thought oh here we go you can't you know if you've got to take your shoes off and you're around someone's house you've got your toe hanging out <laughs> so i thought right i'm gonna i need to get a new pair of tights and i need a new pair of leggings so i um went on the tight thingy and it's the small medium large you know and i was like oh can't bother so i thought right I'll click on the um sizing information and i'm sure it'll go if you're size 10 to 12 12 to 14 14 you know etc etc oh no 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 it wasn't it wasn't like that it wasn't the universal sizing system that everyone knows it was in centimeters or inches i don't want to know that about myself so i was like oh this is just ridiculous so do you know what i done <laughs> i thought right sainsbury's um leggings that i've worn before they fit me they do them in normal sizing size 16 so i thought right i'll go on quickly go on their website click on the leggings and then it should tell me the sizing information like what centimeters and inches and it did <laughs> so i was like that will do i know their size 16 leggings fit me so i went back on to next and ordered the oh because that's the other thing it's all in height as well so if you're this height and this size like width then you need this size etc etc and to be fair they fit perfectly they're high-waisted so they're these lift and oh, no. they, they feel supportive so they they've got like the little bum scrunch bit so you have to hoist your bum cheeks in <laughs> oh goodness gracious me but yeah they're quite comfy haven't tried the leggings on i bought them oh if any of you guys watch my very first try on thing at Sainsbury's and I tried on that burnt orange blazer that I absolutely loved and I said if it had pockets I'd have 100 percent bought it blah 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 well not only did a few of you in the comments tell me but Martin did that they stitched together the pockets so they do have pockets so you just have to break the stitch in anyway when I went back in Sainsbury's well straight after that I couldn't see I didn't see the blazers and it was during the heat wave so I thought oh, no, I can't be bothered Anyway, I went in there a week, two weeks ago with Martin and I was like, oh, he said, is there anything you want? Because I had 25% off. And um, I was like, I really did want that blazer. Anyway, so we looked for it. They didn't have it in my size. I was like, it's not meant to be, then leave it. Anyway, I got an email the other day saying that there was up to 50% off sale. So I just clicked on it. I thought, oh, it'll probably be all the summer stuff. And would you believe the blazer was on there? So it's half price, down to £14. And they had two sizes left, a 14 and a 16. So I was like, oh, get in. So I've ordered that. I don't think it's ready for collection until the end of the week. For some reason, it was like a week. I had to wait a week. But it's fine. So I managed to get the blazer. So I'm happy about that. So the whole point of the story was, when I tried the blazer on, I tried on uh, it on with, are they called ponte legging? Um, so like a thicker trouser legging, basically. And that black jumper that I, I got anyway, like really the, the fine knit one that was beautiful quality. Well, I, I got a pair of leggings that were like that. The ones I tried on in Sainsbury's I didn't have anymore. Yeah, so I got, um, I hope they fit. I got them in just in 16. Oh, I think that's the Hang on a minute. Thank 
good. And I've got my juice. And you've got some juice, that's nice, isn't it? And Nana's making you some toast. It's okay. Do you want to watch Angry Birds or The Grinch? The Grinch. Good job. You both agreed on something. Ready for some toast? Some... You're going to watch The Grinch. What, should we put the other one on? Here you go, darling. You want to watch the cartoon, Grinch? See, this is your one, that's me. Sometimes what you want ain't what you need Sometimes letting go can make Good morning everyone. I hope everyone is okay. I can't even remember what the last thing was that happened with you guys yesterday, to be honest. It's all a little bit of a blur. I've got up this morning, had a shower, put my HRT on because I haven't done that for a few days. And then I wonder why I'm a mess. Um, my head's all over the place. Maybe that's the HRT, not kick it, you know, I don't know. I just feel all out of sorts today. It's a miserable, miserable day. But it's Wednesday. So my little baby's come off to school today for dinner at Nana's and we are doing hot dog sausage rolls again. That is, <laughs> that is the request and who am I to turn down a request? Just popped a load of washing on because it's been sat on my bedroom floors at yesterday but I didn't get a chance yesterday. So I thought, right, I'm going to get up and do that. I might get the, the other one done as well, I'm not sure yet. That's what I might do. I don't know why I'm like, I'm talking it out to you guys so I can convince myself what I'm doing today. Uh, little Zeke, uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> see what I mean? Little Zeke will be here soon. Yeah, haven't heard um, JJ and Mimi, um, so I'm presuming they're asleep. I don't know if they had a good or bad night, so I'm just trying to get organised, really. I'm trying to... I, I'm not going to lie, I'll tell you exactly what I've been focusing on with my mind. is storage. So let me just... I'll flip you around a minute. So as you can see... Little Amelia's got quite a little collection going on out there. Now, the longer term plan is having a dwarf wall conservatory put on the back and so that I can have, because that room is not big enough really, it's a tiny little dining room. It annoys me. So I'm thinking, I don't really need the display cabinet. It is full, I mean it's full to the brim of alcohol, which we don't touch. So there might be a couple, the odd bottle of whiskey in there that might all get out every few years because you'll fancy one but other than that there's a lot of alcohol in there that have been either bought because we're having parties or or whatever we just don't touch it anymore so i'm not i'm not overly bothered about that i feel like we could seriously condense it down i don't think i'm going to gain anything by replacing it with calax etc 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 what i am thinking is a couple under the stairs at the moment it's got like a um what do you call them? It's like a, a step down kind of calax in there. Now I have bought some caster wheels to go on that so that it can be pulled in and out. So I'm thinking if we sort that out, at the very, very back of the cupboard, there's goodness knows what. Um, stuff that isn't used anymore, obviously, because it's not been touched in years. So I think we have a really big sort out of the cupboard. We get either that toy box with cast, put casters on it or we get a bigger, uh, a, you know, one of them uh, sturdy plastic ones that we can wheel in and out. Just like reorganise the cupboard so that we've got a bit more room out to use it as a dining, better dining room area. I just don't know. I, my, uh, my, I'm thinking, could I put Calax out there for the toy? A smaller dining room table. I, t I just don't know what to do. It's so annoying. I'd love to have let her get it out of her system honestly it's hard work this cat <sighs> yeah i'd love to have a big space to host everyone because i do love looking after my family and stuff like that and to be honest with you i've started to th think more about this shush just sit down chill out <laughs> 
this is the kind of banter that we have with each other because she is a diva yeah you are you're a lovely lovely little diva aren't you a little old lady you're a little old lady who likes to be very very loud right sit down then because i'm wearing black i don't want you to be covered in your hair my antihistamine probably's not kicked in yet yeah for those of you who aren't aware i'm also allergic to my cat <laughs> yeah i am but you're part of the family now so right yeah so i don't know i don't know what to do i need to i need to do something but i just don't know oh there's just no other way around it there isn't it's just it is what it is what can you do what can you do hey bells what can we do there's nothing we can do is there it is what it is well i'm just chatting for the sake of chatting now to be honest with you i think i will i don't know when i'll check in with you next it could be tomorrow for all i know it depends on how mental my day goes <laughs> i'll see you soon
made the sausage rolls for the kids for tonight so I'm just going to pop them in the fridge for later and obviously spaghetti bolognese is on the stove I'm just going to clean up and then have a couple of It's just gone 20 past seven and I have, let me put the light on because you won't be able to see a thing otherwise. I've got a chicken curry on. Got myself a cup of tea. I got up early, sorry, got up early this morning because, well, <laughs> it's actually a really funny story. So I think it's about half past five. I got up to go to the loo and it's obviously it's dark and I don't put my glasses on or anything because I try and stay asleep. So I'm walking to the bathroom with my eyes kind of closed and as I get to the bathroom door I kind of open my eyes and obviously I don't realise but JJ's coming out of the toilet and I kind of do this whole... <laughs> So then me and her are in absolute hysterics on the landing. I'm sure we woke everyone up. Well, Martin said it did. So when his alarm went off at six, or 10 to six, whatever time it goes off, I obviously went fully back to sleep. And then he went and got washed and everything. And when I when he came in, I was making the bed. He said, are you getting up? I said, yeah. I said, I'm just awake now. And he said, uh, I, said I, I said, me and Joe have I said she scared me to death that we were wetting ourselves and he went yeah I did hear <laughs> I was like sorry <laughs> so yeah I got up early and at the moment I'm just oh I've just exported mm. the meals of the week up to this point I've just realized though I haven't actually videoed any of the curry thing but that's fine because I had on there I had on there a couple of other things anyway so I just don't want them to be super super long so yeah so it's now 27 minutes past seven in the morning and I've got not only got dinner on, I'm washed and dressed. I put my HRT on again. I went in today. Got myself another cup of tea. Got some chill out time now until the two boys get dropped off. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my giddy aunt, I have to tell you. JJ, she has got her me and little Amelia matching Christmas pajamas. Stop it, they are adorable. Oh, she might show you them. I'll, I'll see if she'll show you the actual pajamas today, but then you'll get to see them during Vlogmas. So if you're not already subscribed and I am a little bit of your cup of tea, then I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well because apparently they're supposed to notify you when I release a video, but that's not been working for me anyway. But do it anyway. If I'm not your cup of tea, then that's absolutely fine. No hard feelings. Honestly, no hard feelings. As long as you don't bother to tell me that I'm not your cup of tea. <laughs> just, just move along. There's plenty of us on YouTube. I'm sure you'll find somebody that floats your boat. I have the absolute most incredible news to tell you guys and I am beyond 
That's my alarm. <laughs> I have the best news. So, as you would have seen a couple of days ago in this vlog, that I mentioned that on Saturday, Lauren and Reese popped in. They're expecting another baby. <laughs> so I'm going to... I'm going to have six grandchildren. I can't believe this. Absolutely crazy. It's just the bestest news ever, 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 ever. Like, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, this now means that she's going to be quite heavily pregnant at her wedding. But so what? It's a blessing. We can work around that. That's absolutely fine. And, but the cute, they, it was the funniest thing. So JJ, Daniel was at work. JJ was here. Um, Martin was sat next to me, I was sat next to Martin, Lauren was sat opposite me and Reese was sat in the corner and he was holding Nate and he was like, oh, he's still tired, he's only just woke up, I was like, oh, bless him. Anyway, they had been here for a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes, that's it. He slid Nate off of his lap onto the floor and I'm looking at Nate's jumper thinking... Why does his jumper say mother? What a weird thing to put on a little boy's jumper. And then as he moved his arm, I saw the start of a B and the R. And I was like, I think my eyes just went like that. I looked straight at Lauren and then I went, oh, I looked at JJ and Martin and I was like, oh, they're pregnant. And then they were looking like, what, what just happened? Because obviously they knew no one had said nothing. <laughs> But what was funny is they'd just been around Brits before because it was Indy's birthday. So they were dropping off Indy's birthday present. And apparently, Brit didn't notice for hours. <laughs> she didn't notice. She has, and then she said, let me know how long it takes mum because she's Hawkeye. Fact. Nothing gets past me. <laughs> but how amazing. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Like, the best news ever. Family's growing. This is going to be the deciding baby, though, because at the moment we have three girls and two boys. So are they going to even out the playing field with another little boy? Or are they going to tip the scales in favour of the girls again? Time will tell. They're not sure if they're going to find out this time, so could have to wait till the very end. Ah! But how lovely, like, honestly. Yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful news. Right, I'm gonna have my cup of tea. be a bit too early even yeah, though normally be this glammed up for a school assembly but it's Friday. <laughs> 
date night but it's not the usual date night we'll have probably like an hour or two just me and martin we'll have a bite to eat and a couple of drinks and then we've got a couple of friends um joining us so it's all good in the hood but yeah we're, so we're just heading over there now and then we'll, oh we need to stop at Sainsbury's on the way back because my blazer is in so I'm going to collect that because I want to wear that Sunday and I probably need to get another bottle of Pepsi Max and some bread you know the usual anyway I'll show you the beautiful scenery um so enjoy Martin said maybe someone's feeding them so they yeah but really odd really really odd so yeah just thought I'd try and hopefully it's, it's shown that I'll see when I edit it if not this is total pointless conversation <laughs> insane to break my parcel and just grabbed a few things that we needed mine's working tomorrow so um Ava's thing was so cute bless her little heart obviously I couldn't film anything because there's other kids there but yeah she did really really well bless her it was really funny how they incorporated Doctor Who visiting the Stone Age and then they sang a song you know we will rock you oh it's really cute words that she said i would have 100 percent messed up <laughs> got all tongue-tied or anything like that she didn't she just smashed it out of the park absolutely brilliant really really blessed i got to go and see that i love it just love all that kind of stuff her little face when you walk in the assembly and she's like <laughs> bless her little heart martin's um just getting ready and I'm not getting ready twice, so I was like, I'm getting ready for date night. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything of tonight because in our pub there is a duke box. We love it. We absolutely love it. It's like it. Seeing people, um, like you'll see, there's some regulars, and we all kind of know 
each other's vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's funny. But when there's someone that you don't know that goes up to the jukebox, the guessing game that's going on, like, I wonder what song they're going to put on, you know? Can you, can you, what's your favourite song? Like, if you, if you was to go in, because me, it depends on my mood. Do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes I'm into soul, sometimes I'm into reggae, sometimes I'm into 90s hip hop. (laughs) sometimes i'm in the mood for some 60s honestly my my taste is very very vast when it comes to music anyway if i catch up with you later i will if not i'll see you tomorrow spy your old man morning everyone i am having a day let me tell you saturday i'm just done spent like over an hour sorting out a food delivery which is just like ugh, should have just gone it's coming on monday though so i just haven't had a chance to check in with you and i'm really really sorry um i've got a massive pile of washing look at this massive pile of washing to be sorted out i just can't be bothered i don't have the energy washing's hanging everywhere <laughs> send help I need to get it done but I need to get editing done I just it's like lunch time and honestly I've been up so early and I've just not got anything done yet so I'm going to go and edit and then I'm going to sort out the washing the bedroom everything like that and then I'll check in with you when I'm in a little bit more of an upbeat mood hey guys so yeah, just have a bad day today. It's not my mood's not improving. We're looking after little Amelia tonight, so JJ and Daniel can have a date night. So me and Martin are just gonna go down to McDonald's to get us three something for dinner. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna wrap up this video to be honest with you because my mood's not improving. Sorry about that. I don't want it, I'd never wanted to end a vlog like this, but I'm just I'm in a funk. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll end it in the morning. This little Amelia. Mimi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Bowl, you're not a princess. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Bella. <laughs> hey, y'all. Good morning. <laughs> okay, guys, so sorry about yesterday. I'll keep a few little snippets in there because that's real life. I was having a really, really bad day. I was just overwhelmed. I had so much to do and do you know when no one else is doing anything, they're just chilling it, and you feel kind of aggravated by us. Well, I did anyway. I felt really aggravated because I feel like sometimes I'm the only one. I'm feeling a lot more positive today. <laughs> so 
Yeah, we looked after little Mimi last night, so they could have their date night, which they loved. But Mimi's just playing with her Sylvanian family. I think I've actually said that right for a change. Say good morning. Good morning. Good girl. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to wrap up this weekly vlog here because it is massive, as usual. And... <sighs> I hope that you again have enjoyed it. I won't be offended if it, it's too much of me because <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of me, a, a lot. But yeah, I appreciate each and every one of your lovely supportive comments. You have no idea when you're having a bad day and reading those, what it means to me. So thank you very much. And I will catch up with you in the very next video. Lots and lots of love. God bless. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby